I did it. God still does wonders. I don't know how God did it, but He came through for me. God did it, and I'm so grateful. Coming up on God Did It Today, our brother Karibo of our technical department shares the story of his days in captivity and how that experience, although traumatizing, also opened him up to a deeper relationship with the Holy Spirit. Hello, it's good to be with you again on God Did It Today, the 15th of May, 2022. I'm Atinode in Ko Ogiga. Thanks for joining me. Now, also in this edition, we'll get to hear a testimony from our sister, Barry Dukaka Monsi. But let's begin now with Karibo's story. Thursday, the 17th of March, 2022, might have begun just like any other day for him as a boat driver, but then soon turned out to be a day not to forget in a hurry. At about 11 p.m., our brother was waiting to end the ride after getting to his destination close to the Camp David Event Center in Port Harcourt when he was accosted and taken away by an armed man who came out of a vehicle parked close to his at the scene. Haribo says he was blindfolded, had his leg chained and padlocked. It was only then he knew he had just been kidnapped. Traumatizing as the plight of our brother was at the time, he was never alone. The next day, Friday morning, he heard the voice of the Holy Spirit who told him to praise the Holy Trinity. Our brother did and received a revelation where he heard loudly the footstep of someone jumping over a fence. He also saw someone smashing the door open and pointing a gun at him and asking who he was. Now, interpreting the revelation the Holy Spirit told our brother, that would be how you would be rescued. Adebo says on Saturday morning whilst he was praying, he heard the voice of the Holy Spirit again, this time saying, today you are going home. Incidentally, about the same time the God kept to watch over our brother, began playing the song at the center of it all by Eben. Whilst the music played, the Spirit again spoke to our brother, asking him to pray in tongues. As he did, he heard the Spirit one more time clearly saying, I am the God of vengeance. Tell me what you want me to do to your kidnappers. Our brother, of course, wasted no time in asking for their debt. For most part of the day that Saturday, whilst the kidnappers continued making moves for a ransom to be paid, the Spirit kept speaking to our brother, telling him of things to come, including of his testimony here on God Did It. Later that Saturday, the guard kept watch over our brother stepped out after he received a call and not so long from that moment, our brother heard a loud footstep as though someone jumped over a fence and then the door was forced open and a gun pointed at him, exactly as he had seen in the vision. There were men of the intelligent response team of the Nigerian police force under the directives of the Commissioner of Police River State on a mission to rescue our brother. On their way out of the hotel where they had kept in hostage, the uniformed men told Karibo that two of the kidnappers had been gunned down and he should identify the corpses. A brother says the first one he saw lying lifeless on the ground was actually the one who had whisked him away at gunpoint. A brother Karibo is full of gratitude and thanks the almighty God, the Nigerian police force, his family and friends for their support and prayers during his days in captivity. Now, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed, then was our mouth filled with laughter. Beautiful testimony from our brother Karibo. Now, also testifying today is our sister Barry Dukaka Monsi, and she says, I want to thank God for what he did for me after the New Dimension worship concert. When Minister Onus was ministering, she made some prophetic declarations like, someone's status is going to change. I shouted amen and I was expecting a huge miracle from the Lord. Very early on Monday morning, I received a message from my cosmate that all second semester results have been uploaded. Immediately, my heart started beating fast because when I last checked my result, I was below 1.5 and I was afraid I will be withdrawn from school. But to the glory of God, when I checked, there was no carryover and my CGPA had already passed 1.5. Glory to God as I'm expecting more this session. 
knowing that we serve a God who is able to do far more than we can ever think, we join you, our sister, in believing him for more as it concerns your academics. But as God did it for today, let's keep our testimonies coming in. The portal remains God did it at HOTRPortHackard.com. Once again, it's God did it at HOTRPortHackard.com. I am at the Nord in Ko Ogiga. Many thanks indeed for your time. Heritage News continues shortly, please.